It's the shopping app at the top of the Google Play and Apple App Stores, Timu. It's a new like Amazon type like service where you get crazy deals on stuff. Getting rave reviews on social media. I got about 12 pieces of makeup for $30-ish. What? I got them on Timu, baby, for $14. So how does it work? Well, I just downloaded the Timu app and instantly it's giving me a countdown clock for free shipping. The race is on and it's easy to see why it's so popular. Here's a makeup palette similar to the one made by Urban Decay. That one normally sells for $25 to $50. On Timu, it's only five bucks. Wow, a hundred different colors of embroidery thread for just $3.68. So you got Bluetooth ear pods. They look like the ones made by Apple, but these are only eight bucks. And look at this. Wow, there are full on wedding gowns for sale for 20 to 30 bucks. Timu says it's able to offer these deals because you're ordering directly from manufacturers, mostly in China, which is why it took two weeks for my packages to arrive. Everything is there. And although the quality isn't the greatest, it's not bad. Well, it's no Vera Wang, but it was under 30 bucks. In total, I got all of this, 20 items, for $251. Patrick Jackson with internet security company Disconnect says those deals could come at a cost. I think the big problem uh, with the Timu app is users may have a false sense of um, privacy. We asked him to analyze how the app works. He discovered that on iPhones, Timu was collecting common types of data, including what kind of device you use and your phone carrier. Patrick, when you opened the Timu app and looked at what it was tracking about us, what did you find? So I found it collecting uh, various data points, but the one that concerned me the most was uh, the IP addresses. Think of an IP address as a unique identifier for your computer or phone. Jackson says Timu was able to track consumers even if they told it not to and even when they were not using the app. He doesn't know what they were doing with those IP addresses, but they potentially enabled Timu to link to even more personal information, such as a shopper's browsing and location history, sexual orientation, and political affiliation. We asked Timu about that, and they didn't respond. In a statement to NBC News, Timu says, we are committed to the privacy and security of our users. The information is solely for enhancing our service, and we do not sell it for money. The collection of IP is a common practice in the industry and is fully disclosed and clearly stated in our privacy policy. We comply strictly with App Store rules on user information. But after we shared the results of our investigation, Apple said Timu was in violation of their app tracking transparency policy, but didn't specify how. They gave Timu 14 days to fix the app or be removed from the app store. Nine days after we reached out to Apple, Timu updated the app and Jackson says they are no longer collecting IP addresses. They also made significant changes to their Apple privacy disclosure to inform users they are able to link them to more data. The merchandise that they sell is inexpensive to a fault. It's dirt cheap, which customers seem to love. Mark Cohen, a professor at Columbia Business School, says consumers may not have realized that these rock-bottom deals came with a different price tag, their privacy. We are hardwired to look for deals, bargains, cheap things. It gets our attention. He says users should be aware of what they're trading when shopping online. I know. Now, we did ask Apple if they were aware of the Timu policy violations before we reached out, but both Apple and Timu have not responded to our repeated requests for comment since that app update. Now, Jackson says he was unable to analyze the Android version of the Timu app. We reached out to Google. A spokesperson there said they take privacy seriously, but they wouldn't tell us if the Timu Google app has violated their policies. So... It's good to know. Wow. So what if you want those deals, but obviously you don't want to worry about, you know, risking your personal data and your private information? The safer way to shop is through the browser, meaning just go to Timu.com. This is not unique to Timu. All websites are collecting a little bit less information than when you're in the app for that mm-hmm. particular mm-hmm. retailer. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother ecosphere of data points about you. And by the way, we actually asked Patrick Jackson to analyze Amazon and Sheen just so we could see what the comparable mm-hmm. results might be. He said they were collecting far less user data than than Timu really? was wow. since that update, yeah. It's a very good story. I love it when Vicky gets something in her craw. Just, I know. know. She she's opening just... up a can of whoop, you know what? <laughs> you like, imagine not... you're this website and yeah. it's like, it's Vicky Wynn calling. Well, I'd be like this. <laughs> Tell her I'm not here. I'm not exactly <laughs> here. All right, you Vicky. Appreciate thank you, Vicky. Yeah. Thank you, Vicky. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or 
Click the link right here.